All right, let's make fun of Laura Trump for one second, and then we'll... Here's your, pla your palate cleanser, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's tune in to Laura Trump. She is the uh, wife of Eric Trump, right? Uh, Eric Trump, of course, is the lesser of the lessees. Um, he is the dumb one at the at the uh, in the dumb in the dumb uh, he's the dumb one of the dumb litter it's a neck and neck race dude <laughs> it's true uh but i i like i just kudos to the fox news people for not like all just like giving away the game here and uh looking at her like she's completely unraveling uh kudos to whoever you know put her on this panel here she is talking about I think abortion rights long ago <clears throat> that even people who uh, are, are very far left or were very far left would even admit that it was a terrible decision for a woman to have to make if she had to make the decision to have an abortion and and that it affects the woman. It affects the child, obviously, in, in irreversible ways. Um, but now it seems to be championed in a way. And, and people are advocating for you to have an abortion as opposed, Nicole, to giving you the choice to choose whatever you want. It, it's terrible. And it, it honestly seems like there's a moral decay that is set in in our society. And I think it's contributed to some of that. And you've seen this, David. All right, so just to be clear what she's saying, I can decipher this. There was a time where even people way on the left would say that it's a horrible choice that you have to make to get an abortion, which is incidentally why, um, you know, people were upset that someone like Hillary Clinton back in 2004 would have been, you know, so like it's hard. You know what? Uh, you know, it's emotionally emotional for, for some women and for some women, it's not emotional. It is, uh, you know, but the same thing can be said for a uh, major surgery or a uh, minor surgery. Um, and what's also emotional is uh, this post-abortion world uh, reality we're heading to in these states. That's going to be pretty emotional, too. That's going to be pretty emotional, too. I think people, you know, who are not allowed to get an abortion are going to feel pretty uh, emotional about it. Um, but the idea that people are now, like, advocating and taking away the choice to not have an abortion... They're, they're conflating the law with, like, just people who are saying it's okay to have an abortion. And then implying the, that there's some people saying, like, trying to push abortions on people who aren't even considering them. That's right. Which, like... You know, all the pro-abortion, uh, all the pro-abortion uh, um, protesters you see outside of, like, adoption agencies who are mad people at... going yeah, inside, yeah. Yeah. You're going to be a surrogate mother. Shame on you. It's just they're so twisted in their perception of the world. I mean, look, you could say I'm against abortion, but if for you to genuinely believe that abortions are being pushed on people, you that's just you're just out of touch with, with, with reality. You would have been a mark for like witch trials without a doubt.